Hiya and uh, welcome to this vlog. So um, we've just uh, left Selby now and um, we're going to be heading down on the tide loose. Um, so yeah, we're controlled by the when we can go out on the ooze depending on the tide. And um, yep, so we only got a, about an hour and a half trip uh, down to Barnby and we come off the tidal off the tidal ooze at Barnby and uh, go on to the River Derwent and onto the Pocklington Canal. So these tidal stretches can be quite treacherous and um, as we come out onto the ooze there's quite a lot of debris flowing uh, up the river uh, but fortunately um, when we came out it was just getting towards the turn of the tide so um, it's pretty it's, it's slowing down it's, it's not too bad we managed to avoid most of it um, but you, you'll see in the video that it's the the water is very very mucky where it just turns um, it's obviously sort of twice a day the tide's coming in so it's the the water's getting churned up quite a lot and um, a lot of the debris has been shifted up and down the river continuously. So this is Selby Lock at low tide. Um, as you can see, as you look out there, the entrance in is uh, is pretty suited up, really. So, quite a bank there, so you wouldn't be wouldn't be missing that when you come in. Out on the ooze where the uh, the tide's now that slack tide, so actually it's not going in or going out, it's waiting to turn. So hopefully, we will be going into the Derwent quite smoothly, which will be a change. So, here we are, just come out of the Selby lock just over there. And we're heading down on the ooze down towards River Derwent. Um, so yeah, our high tide was at half past half past two. It's just just turned now. Actually, we might just be going against the flow very very slightly, um, but it's, it's just about to turn. And uh, we've got about an hour journey here to get down to get down to the river Derwent and it it's, looks quite muddy you look at the surface of the water it's sort of quite mucky but tide just come in and it comes in quite fast carries loads of debris with it uh, we saw quite a lot of flopsam coming up yeah, tree trunks yeah branches bits of log and all that sort of thing but um, now it's, it's pretty still now sort of calm down a little bit so we've got about an hour now down this bit of river and then we'll turn into Barnby Barrage onto the River Derwent and we look more up just on the right hand side as we go in there all being well. So yeah, all good at the moment. Bye. 
bypass bridge, wasn't it? So that over there is uh, Drax Power Station, whichever side of use. And this is the Fenrose. This is where the water comes out from the Derwent. Through the barrage. And out. And that's the barrage that lives up and down to control the water. So the idea is that it stops the 
saving salty water from entering the River Durban, which enables the Water Authority to draw fresh water further up and supply the um, domestic systems throughout various parts of the country. And this is the lock where we came in. Board up just around the corner on the right hand side. So here we are at Barnby Barrage. Uh, so, yes, yeah, entrance onto the Pocklington Canal. Well, sorry, entrance onto the River Derwent and then onto the Pocklington Canal. So, just beyond me over here are the uh, facilities. There's toilets here and uh, over there, that's the barrage itself, and then um, there's a road coming in there. So, yeah, it's a lovely sunny day, it's so peaceful here after being at Selby for what, three weeks or so, right beside the road. There's a fire station there, and um, yeah, quite a lot of noisy cars and motorbikes. To be here in the sunshine, all you can hear is bird song and a few sheep. It's lovely. This video here um, at Barnby Barrage and the next one we'll be continuing up the River Derwent and on to the uh, Pottington Canal. So thanks very much for watching. Uh, please uh, give the thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already please and uh, yeah see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.